Hey, what's up, guys? This is Justin from Justice League Swag, and today I'm going to be doing another deck profile on my uh, Knights of the Apocalypse deck. This one has worked a lot better for me after changing it. I talked to some people about some other ideas. So shout out to uh, Damien Siwi for uh, some of the ideas with this deck. And I'll show you where I took it with that. So first off, the buddy is Gratos uh, for his ability to get up to five cards from the drop zone if he's your buddy. One SP, I need uh, three more. Uh, first up for the size threes, Death Asmo die. Yes, Death Asmo die is almost in every deck nowadays because he gives you a lot of free calls. The great thing about Death Asmo die in this deck is that with my size zero, I run in this deck Valgorin. I can call Death Asmo die for free, and then Death Asmo die can in turn possibly call me other monsters for free. Uh. Other size three, Devil Good Ass, because his other ability to gain soul from the top of the deck is after he's actually on the field, I can use Valgorin to get him out on the field. He's been a great finisher for me, so I only run him at one because I can only run him at one. Uh, Grand Good Ass, for the same reason I run Devil Good Ass, I can bring him up with Valgorin instead of paying gauge for him. So getting a monster for two life is really good. Even if your opponent tries to troll, destroy them, it doesn't really matter because what you're out five life and still have like a whole hand. Gains three soul and move. Great for filling the drop zone with uh, Black Knights. Another Omni Lord. Uh, uh, second Omni Demon Lord. Asmo die. The reason why I'm running him is because uh, this guy with a death grip in hand is really good. Because ideally you would death grip a monster that has no soul, destroy it. If it was a link attack, your opponent's other monster would also be destroyed because of Omnimo die's counter attack. Uh, also for the size 3 lineup, 2 Bay Bar. Just 2 because starting off with him is pretty bad. Uh, usually I side him out for any decks that uh, rely on soul like 5th Omni or uh, Star Dragon World. So I can remove a soul and pop the card before actually attacking with it. Then the last card for my size 3 lineup is Burnova. Burnova because this deck actually drags out the game long enough so so that you'll probably run into him unless you end up milling him by mistake or drop, dropping him into the gauge. So this is really good, especially with the set spell uh, Gate of the Darkness Dragon World. When Once you remove a uh, gate from the field for Burnova's ability, you ping your opponent for one from it leaving the field and then you can still swing three times during your turn. Size 2 lineup, buddy, great toes. I need 3 more SP <laughs> to make him the true buddy. But, uh, great old sister buddy, just so you can uh, pop up the 5 things on your opponent's field, or pop a size 3 and still have soul to last with stuff like dark energy. Size 1 lineup, only 3. Hellrapier, Hellrapier, just because he's a 2 crit and he's a size 1. So with one of my uh, rush fields, I could go full field with him on board and deal adequate damage. Also, for Thanatos, I need one more full for this. But uh, for Thanatos, uh, for the same reason as Hellrapier, if you want to go full field, you can deal damage. And you can also drop Apocalypse Shield to make him full crit. Ideally... I wouldn't do that because you're dropping the shield and wasting the gauge for something that could possibly be negated. Uh, four of the third night of the apocalypse. Four of this guy because he spectral strikes if I have another black knight on field. So it's pretty good. As I said before... Valgorin only at three. Three because I'm not running an entire deck full of size three, so I don't need to see a lot of this guy. 
and with resourcing, I could get him back from the drop zone with Black Gate. Lastly, for the size zero lineup, four Apparition Demon Knight Lasty. Because he can go into the soul of any of my size threes with Soul Guard, and he can go into the soul of Gratos, and I can bring this puppy back with Black Gate. Bring him back to the field on Black Gate. Sometimes he serves as a nullify for me because my opponents would rather clear these guys out than let me put them in the soul of other monsters on my field. Pretty good. Now we have the spell lineup. As I said before, the Gate of Darkness Dragon World at 2. Uh, it's only at 2 right now. I'm trying to find a way to get it up to 3, but it's like my space for spells is really tight right now. But ideally, once I get one of these out, like I play Grados in the center, so it's a close center deck. Uh, C Grados will control the field while I continuously bring back monsters with this, like Lasty. So I can let Grados take hits and then put Lasty back in the drop zone to bring it back the following turn. Another reason why Grados is the buddy. Because I run two Drink on the Soul and Power from the Blood. So if I mill him or I charge him, I can essentially get him back whenever I feel like with this card. And this card also gives me a gauge at the cost of a light. It gets my buddy back from the job zone. Just really good. For Dark Energy, because Dark Energy is broken on anything with Soul Guard. Two, Devil Stigma, uh, for destroying one of my monsters in the center to avoid penetrate, or to destroy one of my size ones in order to play a size three or Grados. Next up, for gauge purposes, Daily Boost. I only use this when I have to get a Grados out on the field or one of the size threes that eat up a lot of the gauge. So it makes them not as bad, especially uh, like playing first turn, dumping all of my gauge, and then Grados could come to the field faster that way, actually. Two, Excel in. Uh, two, Excel in just to uh, mill my deck a little bit faster so Grados can get his five soul off uh, more consistently. I don't need uh, three or four. Because a lot of the rest of my deck does not revolve around the drop zone. Only two Apocalypse Shield because it costs a gauge. I don't run any other uh, shields in the deck, but you may want to try Midnight Shadows. I just run these because they're Black Knight, but honestly. And until we get more Black Knight support, preferably a weapon, we have to run some uh, Black Knight spells. Two Death Grip, but I side more. I already said, like, Death Grip with Omni Modile on the field is pretty good. Any other monster that your opponent would have to link attack. If you destroy one of the monsters in the uh, link attack, the attack and whiff. Uh, one Death Astray. Pitch your hand, draw four cards is really good if you're at... Uh, if you're at exactly four life and have dropped a lot of cards in your hand, because then you're not really minusing. And then lastly, 200 Demon Sorcery Death Sacrifice. Death Sacrifice instead of Abyss Symphony in this deck, just because uh, I may not lose as much life as I want to uh, fast enough, and also it's a, a little bit more difficult to life break, unless I just let my opponent wreck my uh, monsters with uh, life link or wreck me. Which you kind of don't want to happen with a uh, close center deck. And then with uh, Death Sacrifice, I can literally destroy a field of monsters that I don't need anymore. Uh, plus off of destroying them, I can bring them back the ne during my opponent's uh, next turn with uh, Black Gate. And this helps me get Grados out on the field faster without just calling monster over monster in order to fill his soul requirement. But that is it for my deck profile update on 
uh, Knights of the Apocalypse. I hope you have any ideas from this and you can take anything to build your own build and make it really good. Uh, please like and subscribe.